Hello YouTube! So if you remember, two years ago and a year ago I read to you some chapters from my embarrassing fic fan fiction that I wrote when I was like 11 or 12 called Magic Meets Malibu, which combines the two worlds of Harry Potter and Hannah Montana. And I had character pairings, um, Lily and Ron, Miley and Harry, Oliver and Hermione, and Rico and Ginny. I have the book here with me and I am going to read you chapter three. Here we go. Should be quite interesting. All right. Chapter 3, The New Students, Hannah Montana Point of View Everyone, tomorrow we will have some new students with us. They are from London. Since the children don't have any relatives or housing here in Malibu, some students will be staying in your homes, Mr. Corelli said. Uh, Mr. Corelli was one of the teachers on Hannah Montana. <laughs> Each student received a sheet of paper with the students staying with them. Miley Stewart's list read Harry Potter, Hermione, Granger, Ronald Weasley, Ginny Weasley, and the rest of them. Just says a bunch of random people's names. Um, Seamus, Dean, Marietta, Lavender, for Lily, and Oliver, Neville, Luna, Cho, and Cormac McLaggen. The bell rang, signifying the end of the school day. Some of these kids have whacked up names. Hermione, Marietta, Neville? These kids must be exotic, Miley told her friends. I wonder if any girls on this list are hot, Oliver said. We'll see them when they arrive tonight. Hey, how about we all meet our students at Miley's house, Lily suggested. Good, see you later with the new students, Miley said. I wonder what these kids are like, Miley thought to herself. She walked to her house. Later that evening, Miley was pacing her living room. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Miley got the door and five people were at the door. Hi, you must be the new students. Come in, Miley said warmly. Tonks was with the four students. Hi, I am Nymphadora, Nymphadora Tonks. I am the person in charge of these kids. Guys, introduce yourselves, Tonks said. They all introduced themselves, but Miley's eyes fell upon the black-haired, bespectacled boy. He's cute, Miley thought to herself. Her, his name was Harry Potter. Everyone seemed so kind. Just then the doorbell rang. Lily, Oliver, the students, and one more adult appeared at the door. The adult was Alistair Moody. Moody's eye is weird, Miley whispered to Lily. They never introduced themselves. <laughs> Uh, Miley, Lily, and Oliver, we have to tell you something. We are all wizards that can do magic, Moody explained. Okay, you can't tell people, muggles, that you're wizards. That's... I had no logic while writing this fanfiction, apparently. Commentary. <laughs> yeah, right, Lily said. Okay, drop that salt shaker. The sh shaker flew to the ground and broke. Reparo, Hermione said, and the salt shaker was fixed. Everyone showed them a spell, and Miley, Lily, and Oliver believed them, saying that they were wizards. That's ridiculous. That red-haired guy is really cute, Lily told Miley. That boy with the glasses is cute too, Miley said to Lily. That brown-haired girl is hot, Oliver told Miley and Lily. The three walked over to Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Ron introduced them to Ginny, and they all became friends. After that, Lily, Oliver, and their students went home. Miley showed Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and Ginny her house and took them to the guest bedroom. After the four were getting acquainted in their room, Miley walked over to the piano and started to sing One in a Million. And I have written the lyrics to part of the song in the story. <laughs> I'm not going to sing those. So she sings it. That's a really great song, Harry said. He had walked in at the end of the song. You're a really great singer. Oh, thanks, Miley replied. Do you want me to sing another song? Harry said, sure. He sat down at the piano with her. I'm going to sing part of Bigger Than Us, Miley told Harry. She started playing part of the song on the piano. And I have more song lyrics here. So she sings that song. I like that song, Ron said. He had just entered the room. So did Miley's dad and older brother. Y'all must be the students from London. I'm Robbie Ray, and this is Jackson. Where are the rest of you? Robbie said. We're right here, Ginny replied. She and Hermione had just walked in the room. Everyone introduced themselves. Miley was singing some beautiful music before. Can you play a couple songs for everyone? Harry asked. What songs did you play before? Jackson asked. One in a million and bigger than us, Miley replied. I'll play I've Got Nerve Now. She broke into song. And there's more lyrics to this wonderful Hannah Montana song. Um, so she sings that song as well. Everyone broke out in applause. Miley took two bows and motioned for her dad to get his guitar. This next song is called Stand, Miley told everyone. Her dad and her and her started to sing, and there's those lyrics as well. Your voice is blend perfectly, Ginny exclaimed. Harry moved to the piano. He sat down on the chair and started to hit some of the keys. Harry, you know how to play best of both worlds, Miley exclaimed. No, I was just hitting some keys, Harry replied. Oh, what he was playing sounded like best of both worlds. Okay. Well, look at the time. Y'all better get to bed. Tomorrow, Miley and her friends are going to show you and some of your other friends around Malibu. Y'all better rest up, Robbie Ray said. They all headed to bed. Um, Harry Potter point of view. This family we're staying with is really nice, Ginny said as she changed into her pajamas. Miley is really pretty and cute, Harry said. Miley's blonde friend is hot. I'm not kidding, Ron replied. Their guy friend is pretty cute, but I wonder why they called him a donut, Hermione thought aloud. They didn't call him a donut yet. 
I hope tomorrow I find that guy out there for me, Ginny said. Well, good night. Ginny hopped into bed. It's strange sleeping in the same room as you guys. We've always slept in separate rooms. We'll have to adjust to this. Good night, Hermione said. With that, she was asleep. Harry, Ron, and Hermione, uh, Harry and Ron said goodnight to each other. I hope Malibu's fun, Harry thought as he slept. His dreams were filled with thoughts of Malibu, Miley singing, and Miley herself. Harry knew what Ron was dreaming about Lily because he kept muttering things like, Lily, Lily, you're so hot. Little did Harry and his friends know Malibu was going to be one interesting place. Well, I love the fact that I wrote all of the Hannah Montana song lyrics into the story and that they all think that each person is hot. That's apparently what I thought about these characters when I was 11 or 12. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch my latest video here, subscribe here, follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram here, and in the description, DFTBA, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.